Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Jenny here, and today I want to show you guys how to get glass skin. Glass looking skin is what it literally sounds like. Um, it is when your skin is so moisturized and hydrated that it looks like it's reflective, like glasses. Like, you know how glass is reflective? That's how you want your skin to be looking. This is the way opposite of the matte look that has been dominating in American beauty trends. This is more of an Asian Korean beauty trend that is recently coming to the States. Especially after Glossier became big, more people are going into the natural makeup trends. So this glass looking skin is not centered on your makeup, but really focused on your skincare aspect. And I really want to show you guys that it is possible to get glass looking skin with pores, on large pores, if you have small pores, cool, because I have larger pores. So yeah, let me just show you how I get glass looking skin, even with a decent number of pores. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> So I don't really like to exfoliate my face too much in the morning because my natural oils are there from the night and at nighttime I do use a exfoliating scrub and what I do is go in with the vitamin juice cleanser it's from Pixie Beauty and this one, the pump is really nice you pump it out and then you wipe off all the dirt and whatnot and you don't even have to wash your face off so this is pretty perfect for in the morning when you are in a rush like, disgusting this is disgusting like this is all the gunk that's been sitting on my face through the night and i swear i used an oil cleanser and everything so <laughs> yeah nasty but since I have more time today and I'm not doing a gym routine tutorial, I'm gonna go in with a peel off mask. And this one is from Bosha. So this is their mermaid peel off mask and it has seawater, red algae, and it also has menthol. So this mask is gonna bring a coolness to your face and especially in the summer when my face is like burning hot and I feel like I need to cool it down and this mask is really gonna help your skin cool down and go back to its original temperature. For peel off mask, I don't really like to do a strong layer just because it dries way too slowly then. So I'm gonna go in with a quarter sized amount and this is So yeah, and then now we wait. I feel the mask becoming very cold. Um, my face feels like iced up. And you really know that in the summer when your face is really hot, that's what causes redness. That's what can make your oil production higher. Just having your face really warm and hot is like really not ideal for people with problem skin. So this mask really helps combat that issue. So after about 10 minutes, it's gonna be dried up and then you peel off. So I'm gonna just rinse my face off with room temperature water and then come back in to do the rest of my skincare. <sighs> my face feels like so cold, I love it. It feels so nice. Ugh. Ugh, I'm in love. <laughs> So for my toner, I'm not gonna use like a traditional toner. Instead, I'm gonna show you guys Tower 28's um, pH balancing spray. It is like just a very natural way to balance your pH level. So this product has very minimal ingredients. It actually has sodium chloride, hypochlorous acid, and water. And these ingredients are intended to balance the pH level on your skin. So especially after the gym, this is what I was using in my day in my life video. Um, go check that one out. But yeah, I think the spray is like really amazing and it is helping my skin so much with my redness, um, my scarring issues, all from this one spray so I use it as a toner I use it as a <laughs> um, makeup setting spray I use it after the gym I literally carry this every single place and I really 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 love this spray so you guys should definitely check out Tara 28 
And then after, I'm gonna use a serum. This is Boche's Sake Serum. This is a brightening serum, and it is also gonna hydrate and brighten up all of your skin. Oh, I love the scent of this. It smells like a nice skincare version of like lychee, but not that strong and just like a light scent of skincare and I really 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 like the serum and this has really helped brighten up my whole skin. In the beginning I was using this under my eyes for that brightening effect but then I ended up using this on my whole skin as my serum in the morning and oh, my skin feels really nice. It's like bouncy and it just helps brighten it up and just smells really good so you guys should definitely check that one out. And then for my moisturizer, I'm going to go in with the Dr. Jart Water Drop Moisturizer. And this moisturizer is great for the summer because it feels like water going on your skin. It dissolves in a second. I'll show you. I'm just going to use a little bit of this like this and just press it on. And it literally dissolves into my skin. It feels like water is going in. Like this is the perfect moisturizer for people with oily skin. And it will help you achieve that glass skin look. And just keep your face moisturized. So for my sunscreen, I'm going to be using a mineral sunscreen from Supergoop and it's also going to act as my primer. And this is very nice if you're not going for a heavy makeup look because it doesn't change the color of your skin because it's just clear and it's a mineral sunscreen so it's not going to clog your pores and it's perfect for the summer. Also SPF 40. You always have to remember to wear sunscreen wherever you go. So see, my face is already glowing. And then I'm also going to go in with contour already before I put on any face makeup because I want it to be very natural today. In Glossy Air's um, blush paint, this is in Dusk. It's very nice because the other ones are like, like a blush, but this one is like, you know, more of a blush contour. So I think this color is very, very nice for the warm summer days. And this gives me a nice peachy tone, especially if you have tan skin like me. Especially if you have tan yellow skin like me, I feel like this peachy color really complements us very well. To my cheek area, where the apples on my cheeks are. For my foundation, I'm going to be using Glossier Skin Tint. And this is in the shade G7. And at first, I didn't know what to feel about Glossier Skin Tint, but Glossier skin tint literally has absolutely no coverage, but it makes your skin look really pretty. Like, it's for skin that's already pretty decent, but I do go in with concealer, so... Because my skin is not that beautiful yet. And I'm just going to use a little bit to just put it all around. And today, I'm just going to be using my fingers and blend it like this into my skin. And then if I need more, I will just dot my face like so. Yep. And then if I'm going to go in with the Glossier Concealer in the shade G9. And just kind of put concealer where I need so. On my acne and my scars. And then I'm going to be using a highlighting balm to accentuate the glass skin look. This is also Tara 28's product and it has no shade and this is perfect for this look because it'll just give you a very nice looking shine almost. You know one thing this product is uncomfortable with is how it opens but also might be because I have really weak nails so if you have stronger nails I feel like it's not going to be an issue but I'm just going to wipe it like this and just smear it here. As you can see, it's already giving me like a light shine, not like a normal holographic highlighter, but more dewy look that we're going for today. See, my skin is glowy today. I just use some of my nose, then my cupid's bow, use it right here. Also brush it in my eyebrows. I'm just gonna use a little bit more on my cheeks. And it's not sticky. That's the perfect thing about 
And then I'm also going to go in with the um, gloss. It has no shade, so I thought this would be perfect for this look. Because if we're going to get our skin dewy, we might as well get our lips dewy as well. And I'm just going to go do my eyebrows really quickly, so I'll be back. Okay, I did my eyebrows very, very quickly. It is just, I just used the boy brow and just kind of swiped it over because this is going to be a very natural look. So I think it also deserves a very natural brow. And then to basically set my makeup, I'm also going to be using the Tower 28 spray again. And I wouldn't use this to set my makeup in like a heavier look, but then I feel like since I barely really have anything on, this is perfect. It just makes my face look like rejuvenated. I carry this really because it makes my makeup look very, um, if it's flaky and patchy looking because if I baked or something and I spray this on, then it makes my makeup blend in a little bit more. It just makes my makeup look a little bit newer, if you get what I mean. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this glass skin tutorial. So this makeup look is really more about embracing the skincare and your skincare routine more than it is about putting makeup on. Because I hear from people, oh hey, why do you wear foundation? Why do you cover your skin up if you have decently looking skin? Um, truth be told, I do not wear foundation. I rarely wear foundation. Like, I wear it probably once a week if I'm doing something nicer but then I usually just do this kind of makeup and my face looks so dewy and so healthy and you would never have expected that I had cystic acne so yeah take care of your skin guys so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on healthy looking glass skin um, make sure to follow me on Instagram and whatnot and I will see you guys later bye, -bye.